And to have them operating on our northern border is particularly distressing for us in Ghana. President Kufuado some months ago raising concerns about activities of Russia mercenary group Wagner in neighboring Burkina Faso. Months down the line, latest investigation by Ghana Fact has revealed detailed infiltration of the mercenary group into the country. Through a series of social media platforms, contact was established with one Michael Esiedu, an administrator of Mercado News, a Facebook blog with 1,500 followers that publishes pro-Russian content. Managing editor at Ghana Fact, Rabi Al Hassan, explains further the connection. As part of the investigations, we chanced on a Telegram channel that also exposed the um, modus operandi of the group, uh, which uh, involved some funding of the activities, some wire transfers to the ringleaders via Western Union. Uh, in total, we understand through some crowdfunding, they were able to raise about 6,000 US dollars, which was used in executing uh, 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 the, the protest. So, um, even beyond that, we've seen receipts of some t-shirts that were procured and you could see in some videos and some pictures uh, of the Ghanaians wearing them and the receipts, uh, about 50,000 Ghana cities were used in procuring the t-shirts and on it you see Wagner. Uh, you could also see that um, there were some um, flags that were procured online and sent through the Russian embassy to be received by the organizers in Ghana. That coming together resulted in an August 13 march at Diabene Park in Takrade in support of Russia. The police subsequently arrested three persons believed to be ringleaders. Since then we've had the Ghana Police Service has picked up the three ringleaders. Uh, two others who went to visit them have also been picked up, so five of them. Yes, and we understand they've been charged with trying to um, undermine the government of Ghana and um, have been facilitated um, and processed for court. They're supposed to reappear in court on October 3.